this is that one violas. I'm here with just a corn dog. Hey guys. <clears throat> and we're going to be playing a hacked version of Pokemon. It is called Pokemon Glazed Version. Um, <clears throat> so it's it's really cool. So this guy created a whole new Pokemon game. It's kind of between Gen 3 and Gen 4, not really <clears throat> like in a time sense, but like it was created between when Gen 3 came out and Gen 4. So you'll see Pokemon from Gen 4, but it's in it's based in like Ruby and Sapphire kind of um <clears throat> like an engine kind of. So you see here we have the intro going. I'll kind of speed through it a little bit cuz it's kind of long. Um but it's basically the Ruby and Sapphire intro until we get to here. Then you see you have Quilava, Manectric, Flygon, uh one of my Torchic. favorite Pokemon, Torchic being, being Torchic. <laughs> Groudon, Kyogre, Rayquaza, doing their thing. And there we have the title screen, as you saw, with Mew on it. I will be using a speed button, so it'll be going kind of fast. Um, but I'll kind of keep the dialogue on the screen a little bit, just so you guys can get a feel for how this game is going to work. It's an entirely new region, so <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and get started. Here's our generic tree-named professor. Tuna. His name is... Willow. Uh, the region is called Tunod Region. Uh, like I said, he created an entirely new game just with the same Pokemon. See a Turtwig there. Gen 4 starter. Probably one of the lesser picked. Definitely one of the lesser picked. It's always the grass types, man. Not Except for Trico. Well, that's because Grovile. That's true. Alright. So, we're going to unravel some mysteries. He's been undertaking research. All right, so you see we have new sprites here for the man or for the male and the female. Um, oh, the female actually looks kind of cool. Um, so we're gonna be playing as a male. It looks like the cool trainer sprite from Gen Three, and that I believe is Aroma Lady from Gen Three, but I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, it is. We're gonna go for the male, <clears throat> and why not call it Violist to stick with our channel name and what do you know it fits perfectly. it fits perfectly all right <clears throat> so are you ready yes i i captain i actually put spongebob references in another video i was trying to record <laughs> what's this we don't start in our house oh no there's a person and he's kind of offset that's a little weird but alrighty then. He had that plant in his way. And don't fuck with no plants. This is the right place? Yup. Oh, hey. Our character talks. We're not a silent ten-year-old boy. <laughs> We're a talkative ten-year-old boy, which is arguably worse. Alright, so here's our room. So we got our bed over here. TV. PC. Notice no game system unless it's... Nope, not in there. It's All probably right. in his drawers right there. Maybe. Looks like I can't even turn on the TV. Useless. Can't turn on anything. You can't withdraw a potion, I guess. Alright, so let's go see... Let's go talk to our parents to see why the Wi-Fi is not working. Oh, whoa, whoa. Is that two parents? Yeah. Corn dog, that is two parents. Unheard of in a Pokemon game. Oh, wait, actually, no, it's not. Gen 3. You That's have to, a, the one exception. You have to beat your dad's Pokemon into, into submission. But you know, you got to do what you got to do. You got to do. All right. So I totally sped through that dialogue. Basically, they said, "Hey, we're gonna go to the next town, and you should go see the professor." Got a statue of some uh, Gen Two starters there: Chikorita, Cyndaquil, and Totodile. That's actually pretty cool. Those were the starter Pokemon offering in Two Node until Professor Willow imported new ones from the nearby Sinnoh region. Ooh. So here we go. We got the... Notice in the machine, there are five Pokeballs. That comes into play in just a second. Make sure you choose carefully. This will be your new best friend after all. Nonsense. Corndog's my best friend. What up? <clears throat> Which starter will you choose? So you see we got Turtwig, Chimchar, Piplup. Also, Shanks and Ryolu. It's not even a contest. Obviously not. Ryolu Obviously, we should pick Shanks because he's the worst electric type Pokemon ever. 
I'm kidding. We're going to go with Raiolu because everybody likes Lucario. Of course, I want to choose it as my starter Pokemon. We're not going to do nicknames just to kind of speed the game along. I know it's boring. Uh, <laughs> what you got to do. What you got to do. Plus, we're bad at thinking of nicknames. That, too. <clears throat> Pokemon are feeling weak. Feel free to talk to my aid near the healing machine. Safe travels. All righty then. What was that, corn dog? Oh, is it, does that mean there's no like uh, Pokemon Center in this town? Uh, no, there, there's never a Pokemon Center in the starter town. It seems like a bigger town than normal, though. I <clears> thought he may have added one. Uh, I mean, it's a little bit bigger. You, know, you got the beach down here. Probably somewhere you got to surf down there, but I don't have... Yep, see, there's a little land down in the bottom left corner. So, <clears throat> but yeah, there's like a couple houses, a statue... The big house that you live in. I think it's just the roads that make it yeah, that, feel bigger. That's definitely what it is. So this old man told us that there's a ruckus going on in here, so we're going to go see what's going on. <clears throat> oh no. There's a Pikachu. Pika Pika. He's running really fast. Well, that's just the speed button. He's oh, running 16 duh. times speed. <laughs> For the Pikachu attacked. Man, that is a stylish AF Pikachu. Not as good as cosplay Pikachu in Alpha Sapphire, though. Got that red scarf going. Oh no, Thundershock. What if I had picked Piplup? That's right, kids. <clears throat> you gotta pick the starter that'll be the best. And obviously that's Ryolu, because he only has one evolution. <clears throat> he spelled Journey wrong? I think he spelled Journey. <laughs> that's entirely possible. <clears throat> got some running shoes not bad dad has a gift as well says he's not very good at giving gifts but he gives you one of the single most valuable items in the game but no no big deal uh what time is it corn dog it is do 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 i'm just gonna say a solid five o'clock gotcha Five o'clock in the afternoon. But he give you a clock too. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah. Okay. I'm not good at giving gifts, but here's some stuff that's really important to your journey. <laughs> so I just noticed there is a pattern on those flowers, and it's there's just circling around one. So I'm wondering why he didn't put anything there. So it makes me think there's an item hidden there, and there is not. Sad day. Artistic aesthetic, I guess. Aw, uh, yeah. First wild encounter? It's a rat attack. It's a rat attack. This game is just like Pokemon Go. Oh, yeah. Time to beat this rat into submission. Wish it wasn't that way, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Level six already. Gotta level up. Got counter, which is the most overpowered move right now. Because I could just spam... Oh. Coming through. What is that? Is that a character from Yu-Gi-Oh? Maybe. It's Percy. He's got himself a Cyndaquil. That's going to wreck me later on. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm just going to... I'm going to test out that counter theory. He already had his Cyndaquil out before the battle. Boom. Why did it go back in a Pokeball? Whoa. Ha! <laughs> wow. Oh, no. Alright, well... well Nuzlocke over, kids. Go home. <laughs> but not really. This is not a Nuzlocke. Wake up. Just a bad dream. Don't worry about it. So let's get our running shoes and go. Gotta fight this dude again. Go through all the dialogue. You already read. His name's Percy. He's looking for the Pikachu. You got a Cyndaquil. You want to battle? Hey, don't. I don't think I have a say in this, but alrighty <laughs> then. Got ourselves a Cyndaquil. Gonna go for the counter again. Cause why not? Ooh, that hurt. That hurt real bad. Got corn dog Snapchatting something. Yep. It's gonna be great. And we beat Percy at the cost of almost half of our health. You are he misspelled yeah. definitely. Definitely? That's what it looked like. Definitely. See ya around is apparently a word. 
Yeah, it is. See ya. All right, so we don't have any Pokeballs yet, so all we can do <clears throat> is just grind for experience. Because that's what real trainers do. Oh, man. How bad is Riallu's defense? Probably pretty bad, because it's only a fighting type. Yeah, that'll do it. <clears throat> all right, first Pokemon Center. Let's see. Pokemon Centers look like gyms in this game. They do, and I kind of like it. You can go up here, uh, do nothing, apparently. Is that the PC? Uh, I guess that's the PC. You can move Pokemon. Looks like the Gen 3 PC. Cool. But there's also a PC down here. What's the point in that? <clears throat> I mean, some people just want to make it harder for themselves. And Oh, what is that? We can run inside. What a rule breaker. Ooh, Statue of Mew. Nice. Mascot of the game, no big deal. Team Magma. Got some dudes over <laughs> here. That that is orange corn dog. So, well, it looks red. Sorry. All right, so here is the inventor that I was told to go talk to. Told you once. Don't disturb me. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I thought you were one of my aides. <laughs> I was gonna ignore you. You were the person that was sent to that I was expecting anyway. That's it's a such a shiny, shiny red, red color. color. Shiny Pokedex confirmed. <laughs> <clears throat> Here, take these as well as a sort of gift to help you fill out the Pokedex entries. Got me some balls. Balls. Milkshake, Milkshake swamp. swamp. What? I'm not sure what is how that? I feel about that. And he disappeared, so we're gonna go. Gotta go find that milkshake swamp. <clears throat> uh, it's actually right oh. here. Okay. Sorry about those emails. I'm just a popular dude, you know? Uh, this guy has a dark ride. No big deal. Wait, what? Are you kidding me? <clears throat> Who is that? You'll find out soon enough, Corndog. My name, His name is, is Blake, Blake, and he's a member of the Elite Four. Great. A member of the Elite Four has a dark eye. Yeah, Good thing I picked Ryolu. Not exactly the most fun place to pee. Well, yeah, it's called Milkshake Swamp. I mean, milkshakes are fun, but swamps are not. Yeah, but like a swamp made of milkshakes, that'd be gross. Bring a cup. <laughs> no, it'd be all melted and moldy. I guess you're right. I mean, unless you like indigestion and food poisoning. Not a fan. Oh, so he took him, but then he glitched back. All right, so <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and stop here right before we get into the Milkshake Swamp. Thanks for watching. This was That One Violist with Just a Corndog as a guest star. Leave a like and a subscribe. That would be super.